Hey Simleys, it's Deligracy here with part 10 of Let's Play The Sims for Dine Out. Uh, I am still away in Queensland, uh, but in the next part I'll be back. So if you guys have been commenting and requesting things, I'll be reading them while I'm away. Or I will have been, and yeah, in the next part I'll be able to actually act upon your requests and uh, get back to some uh, gameplay, which will be really fun. Anyways, so it is Monday morning. It's 7.20 a.m. The kids need to get off to school. It looks like Ali's having a little bit of a breakfast leftovers of grilled chicken. Oof, I wouldn't like to eat chicken for breakfast. It's too much. Uh, Clay Wu, I did cheat his needs because in, since the last part, uh, there was a bit of a glitch with him where he couldn't get off the lot. So in the end, I just cheated up his needs because by the time he got home, he was absolutely ruined. Uh, so I thought that was only fair, but he's going to go to school. I think this is going to get all of their grades up uh, today because they have been doing their homework. We've really been working hard on that because when they do age up to adults, I want them to be really doing well in whatever they do whatever job they choose to do. And if they've got good grades from school, then they'll instantly be given a leg up when they do start, um, start working or start the workforce. Cool, we have class in two minutes. Uh, how about you get dressed, my little girl? My little pumpkin, my little pumpkin patch. Uh, go to grade school, off you go. What are you going to wear today? Oh you're going to be wearing your little play suit. It's not really appropriate for school wearing those sandals and a play suit, I don't think, but oh well. Oh well. All right, Mr. Wu. Where are you? I think now that the kids are gone, uh, Mr. Wu is going to have a drink. He has become an alcoholic and uh, I think, yeah, I think he will make a drink for himself and then I think he will also invite Stephanie over today to speak about their relationship and where they're at. She told him she was transgender um, before anything really serious happened for them. And I feel like uh, it's time for him to decide whether or not he wants to further develop their romance. Uh, and I also think just because he is a bit of an unhealthy dude, uh, we're going to order some pizza for him to eat uh so let's get pizza delivery oh my gosh i so feel like pizza let's get canadian bacon whatever that is there we go red wine at nine in the morning and ally i mean antonia why are you why didn't you go to school i don't understand I don't understand. Why isn't she at school? Why are you in... Huh? How do I go to school if I can't click on her or anything? Am I having like a moment where I don't know what I'm... I told her to go to grade school, didn't I? But we're going to have to use one of our vacation days. Because school starts in 22 hours. Oh gosh, I don't know. Hello, Antoinette. Antoinette Wu! <laughs> That's funny. She has the same last name, but spelt differently. Okay. You girl, I don't... I don't want her to stay home from school, but we'll just get her to do her homework then. Uh, and Mr. Wu still has another glass here that's spoiled, so that's great. Uh, let's take the pizza. Give us that pizza, Michael. Like, thanks. Here's a hundred dollar tip because Mr. Wu's such a loaded kind of guy. He's like, mmm, pizza. All right, take a slice. Oh, is it empty or is it full? Ew, it's gross. Let's put that away. Uh, and while you're doing that, while you're eating your pizza, I think we should invite Stephanie over. Invite to hang out at the current lot. And Antonia, sit down and do your homework, please. Uh, cool. I feel like Mr. Wu, despite the shock of Stephanie, I feel like he still wants to be with her. She's already here? Wow. She is keen. She's probably been waiting for that phone call. Uh, like, waiting by her phone, being like, when's he gonna call? When's he gonna call? When is he gonna call? Uh, where is she, though, is the question. Oh, it's Meredith Blake! 
from the parent trap. I love Meredith Blake. I think she's awesome. Where is Stephanie, though? Apparently she's already here. But I can't see her. Hmm. She's hiding from us. Uh, is she around here somewhere? I mean, it's kind of like... Uh, we can't just find you whenever we want to see you. You're just too far away. I don't know. If this is, this is probably the school principal calling, but we couldn't get to school. It wasn't our fault. <laughs> I love her little plat though. She's so cute. Oh, I really want him to see Stephanie. Eating up all his pizza. Discuss fine cuisine. He'll be like, Antonio, one day you will run our restaurants and you will learn business and you will, no, no, you won't be using farty cushions, but you will need to take over the family business and you'll be a fabulous businesswoman. That's probably what he talks to his kids about. Business, business, business. Money, money, money. Okay, she's completed her homework for the day, but because you didn't go to school, we're going to make you do more homework because we don't want you to lose your grades. You know, and I don't know how I feel about her just having medicine in her inventory. Let's put it here because we never put things on half walls. There we go. Uh, I just don't think, I don't know, it's just frustrating me. Okay, Stephanie, we're just going to have to go out and invite Stephanie out with us because apparently she don't want to, uh, she don't want to cooperate. Let's just go here and bring Stephanie around for a meeting. And whilst they're having a meeting at his restaurant. Maybe they can have a little bit of a kiss. Oh, so exciting. Uh, but yeah, I think he would have thought it over and he's probably like, she makes me really happy. She, uh, whoopsies. Didn't mean to do that. <laughs> Antonia, no. Wait. Oh gosh. It's not what I meant to do. Antonia, you can do, you still need to do your homework here. Oh, it's not in their inventory anymore. Well, that was silly. And Tony is just gonna run around for the whole day and just have a day off school. Damn girl, she's so lucky, so lucky. Let's just go here and we'll go here with Stephanie. Take two, Aubrey, what are you doing? We are going to need to fire Aubrey if she keeps this up. It's just not okay. I thought we tried to get rid of the clown hair and now you're wearing clown face paint. Okay, I'm not happy, <laughs> not happy at all. Oh God. All right. Hey, Stephanie, how are you? You know what? I just want to go straight to it and just have this really romantic embrace because they've been away from each other for so long. Oh, it's like, I'm so glad to see you and I don't care about your history. You make me happy and I love you for you. That's beautiful. Although I don't think Mr. Wu would be able to speak so wonderfully, but I think he'd 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 definitely tell her that. Let's just see how this goes. Do a little bit of flirting and uh, whoops, what was I doing then? A little ask a risque question. Oh, and maybe we will. Oh no, confess attraction. See how she takes that. It's actually a very romantic spot, isn't it? With all these trees in the background. Oh, why did you step away from us? That's a sign of not being interested. No, she's interested. We're interested. I love watching them talk. Why are you standing so far apart? This is awkward. I feel like this is really awkward. Can we romance more? Can we flirt? Of course we can. We can do whatever we like. Hmm. Compliment appearance. He's really busting. Oh, they're getting flirty. Ask another risque question. I want them to kiss. Got to warm them up a little bit more. Oh gosh. Oh my gosh. She didn't lie.
like us flirting? Why is she like being so hot and cold with us? Okay, let's let's try and do this romantically. Let's go. Let's go to the water's edge, to a romantic spot. Let's go here together and let's have our first kiss. This is my favorite first kiss spot in The Sims 4. I think several of my Sims have had their first kiss here, but I just think it's so romantic. First kiss. This is a big deal. <gasps> Mr. Wu and Stephanie. Oh. Oh, cute, you guys. Whisper seductively. Ooh, Ali's grades are up. Awesome. And Clay's got to be. This is what we want to, what we want to see. Embrace a little bit. Oh. Can we go home? Are the kids, oh, the kids are home. So we can't really go home to Woohoo or anything. But anyways, let's just end our date here, I suppose. And, uh, or maybe blow a kiss. I want to end their date. They're so cute together, but I do think we need to go to the toilet. So let's do that. Let's just, sorry, Stephanie, but we just need to do a little, a little woo, a little woo. Oh my gosh. Our bills are $9,000. Whew. That stings. Oh, and we should probably open up this restaurant as well. We need to work a little bit on there. So let's go visit the restaurants uh, with Stephanie. I guess that's partly her creation. And I don't know. I feel like Mr. Wu's not going to officially commit to Stephanie yet. Like he likes her and he's kissed her, but he's probably still... <sighs> I don't know. I, I don't think it's as easy as him being like, yes, I'm in love. I feel like he'd still be a bit, I don't know, a bit iffy and a bit hot and cold. They're probably both a bit hot and cold. Uh, hi, Michaela. Why are you wearing that outfit? Because that is not your new outfit. I thought we set the outfits in this place to be really nice. So I'm confused why they keep switching back. Seriously, I feel like all of our hard work hasn't even, like, you know what? Let's, let's manage these clove settings. Why does it keep doing that? Ugh. All right, so the chefs, maybe the chefs actually, you know what? The chefs should probably have the normal all white ensemble. I think that's very nice. Very nice. And, uh, da -da -da. yeah, we'll go that for the chefs. Keep it classy, keeping it real. The wait stuff, I don't understand where their nice outfits have gone. So I'm just going to go back to these kind of basic ones and they can just wear casual wear. There we are. Um, but back to the harvest kitchen. Uh, where is he? Oh, he's just around the corner. I was like, where are you? Oh, I really don't like when they wear these outfits. Manage, Jessica. Uh, let's just praise her. She's doing really well. Make sure all of our new visitors are happy. Oh, this is a Simley's creation. This is Eric Ketcher. Love him. Hello, Braylon Boyer. The service at this place is fantastic. Well, thank you very much. Uh, but we should actually check up on our weight stuff. Hold on. Neutral, neutral. Mm, rocky, rocky, rocky. You are very rocky still. So we need to really... We need to give him better training. He's still really struggling. So let's prioritize that once we greet some of our customers. And that should be good. Eight... Okay, so he's just checking up on everyone, making sure everyone's happy. Stephanie's here too, just keeping an eye on the place as well. I feel like this place is half Stephanie's anyway. Uh, and yes, we are helping you improve, Rocky. Don't be so questionable. Do not question us. Uh, so Rocky's going to have some training paid for. Jessica needs... Oh no, she's all good. We just want everyone at our restaurants to be trained super duper well. That's that's the most important thing, I feel. 
And can we say hello to any of these guys or everyone? Oh my gosh, get out of our restaurants. I don't want to welcome you, Alessandro. <laughs> oh, it's so bad.